Good morning, I'm Brian Lober. Welcome to Marine Max from Norwalk, Connecticut. And today I am very proud to present the all new Sea Ray 370 Sundancer Outboard. This is a beautiful new model from Sea Ray. We are delivering one of the very first boats and we are ecstatic to get this customer on the water. And before we do so, I do want to give a quick walkthrough video, really tour the nice new features, everything that I like about the boat and really how innovative the design is and just how wonderful the experience is gonna be for this new customer of ours. Climb aboard. For the 370 Sundancer outboard, there's quite a bit of space here on the swim platform. What I do want to denote first is the power. Of course, being an outboard model, what else would we use but Mercury outboards? Power comes from triple 300 horsepower V8 Verados. These engines run second to none for the Sea Ray Sundancer. They're very quiet, they're fuel efficient, and plenty of power to get you wherever you want to go. She's ready to go cruising. Very utility oriented here on the transom of the new 370. So if we go over to the port side, we have our storage trunk. This is gonna be a great place to store your fenders, your lines. Also, you'll notice that you do have the inboard air compressor, perfect for some water toys. Close this up nicely. And then if we head on over to the starboard side, simple enough, we have our shore power hookups, as well as tucked in there against the gunnel are our battery switches for the house and for the engines. A really cool and innovative feature of the 370 outboard is this transom bench area right here. You might think that it's just an enclosed L-shaped seating like you've come to know and love on many Sea Ray Sundancer models. However, check this out. You can actually flip the transom down and have your full length sun pad area right here. I like this because you can be open in the sun if you'd like, or you can extend the electrically operated sure shade and really be covered up. Great place to be if you're hanging out, watching the kids jump in the water, getting ready for some water sport enjoyment, anything like that. Another cool feature that this is gonna do is the bench is actually gonna transform and flip up so you no longer have a sun pad. You have an aft facing bench. This is a great place to hang out, really enjoy your day on the water, watch the kids jump in the water, go swimming. It is just a beautiful family environment. All right here on the swim platform. We haven't even gone in the cockpit area yet. Let's go. Walking up into the cockpit area of the all new 370, you'll notice right away there is a lot of room in here. You're not feeling confined. You really are in an open air environment. Yes, this is the coupe model. However, you would never think that you would have so much open space. You really feel like you are in that open area day boat environment. So of course with Sea Ray, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of seating on board. So you have your L-shaped seating on the port side, another opposing facing L-shaped seating on the starboard side, flat screen television. This is gonna be your main entertainment area. You are gonna have some tables, some beautiful teak wooden tables that will sit into the index fittings in the, in the cockpit. Those we'll get to in just a moment where they're located and how to operate. Now, if we move over to the starboard side, again, with entertainment in mind, this is gonna be your summer kitchen area. I love what Sea Ray has done to redesign the Corian countertop. It's more of a wavy, ergonomic look to it, as opposed to some of the countertops we've seen in the past, which I would call like more of a speckled sort of design. This is great, super user-friendly area. We have our Kenyan electric grill, and of course, 12 volt refrigerator right down below. So for those among us that really appreciate the mechanical components and inner workings of not just Sea Race, but any boat, you'll really have an affinity for what we're about to show next. Check this out. This is what I would call the mechanical component room. Really easy access, you're not cramped down there at all. This is gonna benefit the user, the owner operator, as well as our service technicians. So what I wanna point out down here while we have the camera fixated in the mechanical component room is the sheer vastness and availability for a service opportunity for our technicians. So right now we're looking at the port side of the boat. This is gonna be our gen set. As we move towards the aft of the boat, we have our Sea Keeper gyro. That's gonna reduce any roll on the boat, super, super effective and makes all the difference when you're cruising out in the water. If we move over towards the starboard side, this is gonna be our locations for our table. So there's three of them. So you have two cockpit tables, one bow tables. Really easy to access. You're not cramped coming down here to grab them at all. I figure most customers and people that are owning and operating this boat will keep the tables up most of the time. They're super easy if you do wanna stow them away. You'll just see the availability and access to all your mechanical components down here. I can really appreciate what Sea Ray has done to design this area of the 370 Sundancer. So walking up to the cockpit area, we're gonna take a stroll right over to the helm station. Now, you might think, oh my God, I'm on a 37 foot boat. This is a lot to manage. Not the way that Sea Ray has set up their helm and the way the controls work. First of all, let's talk about the dash. You have your 
twin Simrad 16 inch digital display screens. You're gonna have everything on here from your GPS chart plotter to your SeaKeeper gyro settings to your audio to your autopilot, your complete vessel controls, as well as the Mercury engine telemetry. Everything is full digital dash, it's displayed easy for the user to see. Now, when we come down and look just at to the helm dead center of us, you're gonna see a couple different still push button toggle controls. For example, the skylight, the port and starboard windows really really easy to work right there windless and then your lighting as well as your horn can't forget that really easy to use everything is labeled correctly really easy right in your eyesight everything is within an arm's reach from the fusion stereo beautiful layout here to the mercury digital throttle and shift the joystick the automatic trim tab see where it refers to it as your dynamic running surface as well as your VHF radio everything is exactly where you would want it to be where you would expect it to be and really easy to use this boat is not going to be a whole lot different to operate than let's say a 32 Sundancer as far as operational skill that's involved however it's going to handle differently it's a larger boat it's all new and truly just a wonderful machine As we make our way down to the cabin of the 370 Sundancer, there's a lot of really cool and interesting new features down here. First off, it is a much larger boat than the 32 that's been out for just a few years. They've completely redone their cabin design. For a 37 foot boat, you would feel as it is much larger. A whole lot of headroom right here. I'm just over six feet tall. I have another two feet of room on top of me here. A lot of room. I love the L-shaped seating that they've done for a bench. So really nice for entertaining when you and your guests want to get out of the sun for the day. This is also going to convert into a quite a large V-berth. And there is also the aft cabin as well. So check this out as I demonstrate. So it's very simple. There's nothing that you have to physically pull out. We just remove a couple cushions. And it is as easy as the touch of a button. And here we go. So we put our pillows back on. This is actually quite large. And check this out. I am actually gonna demonstrate so you can see that it is quite a large berth. So if I go down all the way, I have plenty of leg room here. I can even flip around the other way so I don't have to worry about my head in the morning. Again, a really great place to stay. A lot of possibilities over here. everyone. I guess it's time to talk about the head on the 370 Sundancer. What I like about this is on the starboard side, again, a large access window with a porthole. And if we look just ahead of the actual head area, you will notice that there is a shepherd's separate shower stall. I do like to see that. It offers a lot of space in this area of the boat and really well appointed. So as we move to the aft cabin, I do want to point out the port side galley. So you're going to have a very large fridge here. Of course, taking delivery from Marine Max of Norwalk, you could fully expect your fridge to be stocked up on all the necessities. A lot of room in there. You're going to have your microwave, your sink, your trash receptacle, your basic galley right here. But with enough Corian counter space to really do whatever you need to do, I don't feel cramped one bit at all. It's really a nice place to be. As we move forward to the aft cabin, again, a lot of room down here. What I like to take note of right now I don't have any of the cabin lights on. This is all natural light. So if we look over to the port side, to the starboard side with opening portholes, I get a lot of natural light down here. I'm really liking it. I like how this couch wraps around in the aft cabin. Again, as a taller guy, I even have headspace down here. I don't have to worry about bumping my head. I don't have to worry about my guests, anything like that. Again, just this whole cabin area of the 370 Sundancer, they absolutely nailed it. Moving forward up to the bow area, check this out. All new for the Sea Ray 370 Sundancer is this door that we have here. There's a lot of glass on this boat. And again, you're not feeling claustrophobic or enclosed at all, although you are protected from the elements. With the vastness of these windows and the windshield, you truly get a sense that you are in an open air boat, open air environment while being protective. Check this out. When we open the door, it very easily secures with a magnet right down at the bottom. It's easy, now I got some wind flow coming through. I would like to combine this in conjunction with the skylight that's gonna open up on top of the hard top. I do have it in the closed position at the moment. 
Follow me. So what I like too about the Sun Dancer is that there's no step up where if it gets a little wet or if you're underway, people are gonna have trouble moving from the cockpit to the bow area. It's actually a slight inclination of a ramp. So you come on up, and this is what truly makes Sea Ray and the Sun Dancer series, the 370 innovative, is that it's a hybrid boat. It's an excellent sport cruising boat. However, you do have the battle rider functionality. We have room for three full-size adults, a lot of entertainment availability up here. It's truly a great place to hang out. It's vast, it's vast. I could have myself, all of my friends up here really just enjoying the day. Check this out. So I'm gonna stand up here on the deck and I just wanna show the sheer mass of the hard top, of the windshield, and really give a good representation of what this boat entails. It's a large sport cruising boat, all new by Sea Ray. It is my pleasure to introduce the 370 Sun Dancer. more information on the all-new Sea Ray 370 Sun Dancer Outboard, come on down to Marine Max of Norwalk, Connecticut. We're located at 130 Water Street. You can reach us by phone at any time at 203-831-6311. I'm Brian Lober, and I am proud to present this all-new model and deliver excellence to our brand new customer. Thanks for watching.